With Alexander Severus, the last of the African emperors, the Roman Empire saw 13 years of respite and stability before the chaos and decline of what's known as the crisis of the third century. The reign of the 13-year-old Alexander is curious in that for the first time power rested to all intents and purposes in the hands of incredibly talented women. His grandmother, Julia Mesa, and his mother, Julia Mamea. For the most part, they kept the empire on an even keel. Alexander's policies were sensible. He simplified taxes, tried to improve the conditions in the army, and despite a devaluation of the denarius early on, was able to revalue it later. Alexander Severus was also one of the more serious builders that Rome had seen for generations. He built the Aqua Alexandrina and rebuilt the Baths of Nero. Alexander's real problems were military. Like many of his successors, the biggest threat came from the new Sassanid Empire in the east after 227. Although Alexander celebrated a triumph in Rome in 233, it's hard to work out the precise steps of the campaign. But what is clear is that the campaign was not well run. There was at least one uprising against the emperor. The next year, Alexander Severus and his mother moved to Mainz to cope with the Germanic tribes who'd been disruptive while the emperor was in the east. This is where Alexander made his fatal error. Rather than fight the Germanic threat head on, he bought them off. In 235, the Rhine army revolted. In March, the second Parthica and the second Primogenia killed both the emperor and his mother.